Can you believe this ransom demand coming out of thin air? Did they get any information on the call? Apparently, the call came from north of here, a town called Granite City. Personally, I think it's a hoax, but now the police are convinced that Maya's not in this building. But what about the evidence I found? Are you sure the pizza boxes were in that magician's room? Because the police couldn't find anything. That's impossible. Are you sure they looked in the magician's room? They searched the whole building. could they miss two big pizza boxes with leftover pizza inside? What about Maya's shoe? No trace of that either. This is so discouraging. Follow your gut, Nancy. If you think Maya's still here, you keep looking for her, you hear? I was backstage earlier, and one of the stage lights came crashing down. It almost hit me. Oh, Nancy, thank goodness you're okay. I got another threat from the kidnapper. That creepy voice came on the PA and told me to stop searching for Maya. The projection room? But who? Someone must have ducked out of the press conference. I was so busy with crowd control, I didn't even notice.
Joseph, I did some checking. You don't really have any family in Greasewood, do you? Now what you want to go digging into an old man's life for, Nancy? Everyone's a suspect, Joseph. You know that. If you have nowhere to go after the theater comes down, then maybe you're the kidnapper desperado. It's not so far-fetched, is it? Now, now. I am going to Greasewood, and I'm not desperate. I made up the part about my brother so you wouldn't feel sorry for me. You've got enough to worry about, don't you? It's only a matter of hours until the demolition. How are you holding up, Joseph? Oh, fine. Everything's great. Fine. Fine. I was up till the wee hours polishing up the lobby. Heck, I, I'm even fixing to repair the old key maker so you can give it a whirl. Guess old habits die hard, eh? Gotta go now. Don't let the turkeys get you down. Did you call? What's the story? Sure did. Go on, spill it. She didn't know much, but she gave me the number of this guy at the Library of Congress who has access to the archives of Houdini's letters. And what did they say? Sherman Trout is on our side. Keep your eyes peeled for a special delivery. Way to go, Nancy. You're on fire. Catch you later. Fight the power. What are you doing hanging out with that Falcone jerk? Who are you, my overprotective big brother? That guy's bad news, and he's certainly not going to help your credibility with the police. Don't worry. I don't trust him any more than I trust you, or anyone else around here for that matter. Just trying to help. Talk to you later, Brady. Cool beans. How's progress? I know you sent the funeral wreath. Now where's Maya? I don't know what you're talking about, Sugar. Listen, the pressure must really be getting to you. I know a top-notch aromatherapist in town, okay? I'll give you her number. Come on, Simone. Ginger's 24-hour flower-rama? I believe you've been caught red-handed. You broke into my personal property? I could have you arrested for that. It's just business, Simone. 
You do what agents do, I do what detectives do. I'm sure you can appreciate that. All right, I sent the stupid wreath, but I'm no kidnapper. I needed something for the cameras, didn't I? And it was a very tasteful arrangement. Should have been for 300 bucks. Perhaps I went a little overboard. A little overboard? <laughs> You're dreaming if you think that's enough to get you off my suspect list. Maya's notebook? Hey, you. The jig is up, Brady. Start talking. Huh? I'm afraid you've lost me. You've been lying to me, playing Mr. Helpful and Concerned all this time. I found her notebook in your bag. I haven't done anything wrong. I wonder if the police will agree with that. Okay, Nancy, here's the deal. My real name is Brady Thompson. Simone pushed for Armstrong more wholesomely smoldering, she said. Yeah, so? I'm Wave of the Future, Inc. The owner of this theater, great nephew of J.J. himself. But you're an actor. Why in the world would you want to bulldoze a theater? The place is shabby. It needs major repairs. It's a money pit and a has-been, not the image I want to project. Is everything about image with you? Never underestimate the power of image, Nancy. You are what you project. And what is it that you wish to project? When people think of Brady Armstrong, they think sparkling white teeth and healthy glow. Success glows. It doesn't crumble and sag. The hero never rides a has-been horse. But what are you going to do with the site? When I saw these ritzy theme restaurants popping up all over the country, it hit me like pow. My first original idea. Brady Armstrong's Planet Tinseltown. Can't you see it on the marquee? Grand opening. The lights will say it all. Keep going. You've got a lot more explaining to do. I've sworn to be the captain of my own destiny. Maya was going to expose me muck up my name in this controversy. It would have been a dark cloud over the launch of Tinseltown. And for that, she deserves to be kidnapped? I didn't kidnap her. I found her notepad in the basement with the press pass. I just thought I'd hang on to it for a few days until the dust settles. How could you withhold anything that might help me find her? How could you? Sorry, Nancy. Look, you're not thinking clearly.